Bros and Broads, I'm here to talk to you about something very serious. This episode, I hope you're enjoying it, but I want you to enjoy something better. I have a good friend of mine. He's going to be the new host with even more than most. He's funny, he's good looking, and he's hung like a horse. The myth, the man, the legend. His name is Josh Gurian. Let me introduce you to him. Josh, get over here. Thank you, Evan. Thank you. Now, oh, we are here today to honor a man that I, no, no words can explain my passion and love for him. But what we really have to understand here is that this train has to keep on rolling. I'm going to keep this. I'm going to keep the. And I'm going to keep the. Constantly moving. We're going to keep the show going. And it's going to look good. Just, just smile as hard as you can right now at the camera. Ah, that was amazing. I'm tearing, by the way. I was tearing holding that, holding that in. That's what I thought. I thought you wanted me to put them on and you were telling him to took them off. And I'm like, okay. Smiley faces. We're going to talk to you about emoticons and using that during text messages. How do you feel about smiley faces? Optimistic. Good. When you do text, do you uh -huh. do smiley faces? Not often, because then they use, like, they're not special if you use them all the time. But, if I'm super happy about things, yeah, but I don't like emojis and I hate it when guys use emojis. I think they're really fucking annoying. <laughs> Or if you're trying to be funny by being creepy, I think it's a good way. I feel like, you know what it makes me think of? Uh, the TV shows To Catch a Predator. What makes them so annoying? Because it's not words. They're just not words. They're like just attempts to like show emotions over text messages. Oh, okay. It's bullshit. But doesn't a picture hold a thousand words? It's not a picture. <laughs> I'm getting this vibe from this fine lady right here that smiley faces are enriching and full of rainbows and they're just meant to brighten up somebody's day but on your part I'm kinda getting this feeling that it means some 40 year old guy wants to stick his dick up your ass you got a guy and he won't stop texting you and he's sending you smiley faces how the hell do you get out of it I tell him I don't want to speak to him ever again uh, via text message yes what about you just don't answer. <laughs> exactly. This, you're, I don't know where you're from. This girl's weird. When you're texting a girl, a girl's texting you, you see a smiley face. What's the first thought that goes in your mind? That I'm going to misinterpret this situation very badly. I think it makes the text message nice and happy. Smiley faces should be reserved strictly for sexual interest because they become very confusing otherwise. It would make me smile. That's to just, to just make your day. Yeah, see, if you see a smiley face, then you get a smiley face. How are you going to interpret it? Well, what I'll do first is I'll uh, stare at the text for two hours and type out a message and constantly delete words. I'll go online finding other words for happy and hello. What's your first opinion on that? I like smiley faces and text messages. My first impression is that I've gotten a text message from a 14-year-old girl. And um, um, other words for uh, would you like to get lunch? And um, yeah, then I'll stare at it for about three hours. I'll save it in my phone as a draft because I want to keep myself paranoid to keep thinking about this. If you girls really want to let a guy know, hey, I want to get in your pants, what are you going to say? Flat out say it. And then eventually I'll send it at like two in the morning when she's not awake so that I, can, I don't have to wait like near the phone waiting for her to respond. Exactly. And uh, she responds to you and all systems go. You got a green light. What are you, what's your next plan? My next plan. Th this is getting into uncharted territory. Do you want to go downtown with me? I guess. If you want, if you want, all right. Oh, that was okay. If you, if you want to say, yeah, yeah. <laughs> downtown on me, sure. Yeah, well, it's hard to be sarcastic through text because people don't know when you're being serious or not. That's true. That's and true. You have to put like winky face, like you know, smiley face or laugh out loud after every sentence, which is just nuts. If she sends one right back, what, what, what's going in your head? I'm going over there. And she, what is she going to get? <laughs> Say, come on, what is she going to get? I'm going to get the D. Atta boy, out of boy. in class. <laughs> now, what if a girl sends you a naked picture? A naked picture? Uh, I get on my knees and thank whatever religious artifact is closest to me and convert to that religion. When a girl sp sends you a smiley face, it means she wants a dick. One more time. She wants the D. If you want to get a man in your zone, what are you going to tell him? Um, I don't know, just like say it, just be like, yeah, so we should do stuff. <laughs> I don't know.
We should do stuff. The smiley face is the only thing I ever sent out. I've gotten wings. I've received wings before. You're more of the guy who sends out like the puppies and the dogs. No, I don't have. All right, so here's what I'm working with. Oh, here we nothing, go. Nothing fancy coming out of this bad boy. It's, it's very basic, but it gets the message across. So, yeah. Hey, does, it, does it text? What kind of stuff are we talking about? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> you girls are not very sexual. I'm not gonna lie. Very stuff. I feel like if you brought me over, I'd play Yahtzee, like Scrabble, for hours.